Rob, have you seen self-tying rope? No, but I think I'm about to. You certainly are. Start by taking a loop and just place that down flat on the table. There we are. No. I'm not tying a knot in it. No. I'll take a second loop and sit it over the top of the first one. Right. And then a third loop over the other two. Now, I'll get you to pick up the end of the rope there between right. your fingers and then count to three and rapidly flick the rope in the air. One, two, three, flick. Right. Oh, good Lord, look at that. It's well, I told you it was self-tying because you counted to three. Three, nice. three, yeah, it certainly are. Hmm, isn't that amazing? Hmm, it is rather. How'd you do it? How did I do it? Hmm. You did it. <laughs> Let's do it slowly and see what's happening. All right. Uh, well, untie the knots. Well, certainly genuine knots. And see what happens. Actually, everything was important. I said we start with the end on the table. That's important. We put one loop over that end. Make sure that we can see the end through the loop. Then a second loop over the top of that. Are you giving each loop a twist? Does that matter? That's absolutely vital if it's going to work. And the third loop over the other two with a twist. twist. And then I made you pick up this end of the rope, the end right. that was on the table first, and I forced you to bring it up through the three loops. Now I'll do it slowly this time and shake it, and you'll see what's happening. There we are. That's the bottom loop that's come through the other two, and it's tied in a knot. And then the second one comes through tied in a knot, and the third one. You can go on and on doing it with as many loops as you like. Isn't that remarkable? Self-tying rope. Curiosity.